so how much marks is good enough in any test series like you will always see like you have attempted the attempted test series then you are analyzing the test series and there you observe the mark marks of the topper okay let's say the topper out of 30 in a topic wise test has scored 25 and you have only scored 15 then you might feel very demotivated that you have scored a bit low compared to the topper and maybe you have not performed up to the mark so that is there i also have faced that so there are multiple things here first point is please don't check the marks of topper okay don't check the marks of topper if there is an option right uh, in any portal whatever wherever you are attempting the attempting the test to see the marks of top 5 or top 10 people or at least see your percentile what is your percentile your percentile should always be above 90 or see how above 90 how much marks people are getting that is a good way to measure so always try to analyze the marks of the person who is in and around rank 10 don't analyze rank 1 why because sometimes there are few people who sometimes cheat okay they just see the answer or they just go and uh, look at their notes and solve it, the question okay in the test series and there is no point of it actually but few people do it just for the fun and they inflate the actual marks and actual rank that the test was supposed to get that you are supposed to get right so you might feel demotivated but maybe that person has cheated or maybe that person already knew the answers something might happen so that's why don't judge based on the rank one judge based on the rank 10 or just based uh, judge based on your percentile and judge based on yourself like how many out of the questions that you are not able to solve how many were conceptual errors how many were uh, like you did not even knew the concept how many questions were uh, time due to time boundation you are not able to solve bifurcate into these different sections and see what went wrong and you focus on that particular in, in a particular group you will have large number of problems right large number of questions let's say you are not able to solve the question because you did not knew the concept that basically means most of the questions you are not able to solve because you did not knew the concept basically it means that you have to go and study the subject or maybe you have to revise you are not able to solve because uh, there was some time foundation that basically means you have to increase your speed that will come with uh, more and more practice i have discussed how can you improve the test series mark in this video so in the previous video you can watch that previous video there i, I have explained i will not again repeat myself okay here i will just say what things to focus on while the analysis of test series right so basically how much marks should be enough that is the first thing next uh, how many full length mock tests should you give so the first thing is you right now you should not focus on full length mocks right now you should focus on subject wide subject wise test mocks and then you will move on to full length okay that will come later and to answer to you 10 is more than enough 10 full length tests are more than enough for your preparation don't worry so when to start full length mocks one month before your actual gate exam so around the starting of january or december end is okay okay so january 15th is also fine january 15th or january 10th is also fine no problem with that but you can start in the january month in the starting of january so i have told you like I don't run behind this myth that i need to attempt 30 full length mocks then i will score very good in the actual gate exam no this is a myth yes full length mocks will always help you all the toppers will say they did attempt the full length mocks but please don't run behind the number of full-length mocks, right? 10 full-length mocks are also enough. But you have to attempt them in, in a good manner. You must be conceptually clear before attempting the test, right? That's why subject-wise test will come first. You have to follow the sequence. First, subject-wise test will come. Network theory, control system. In individual subjects will have topics. You will attempt those particular chapters. You will see where you lack. You will improve those parts. And then you will sit for the full-length mocks. So strategy for full length mock, I will discuss once the time will come. Now is not the time. And strategy for subject wise mocks and how to improve the scores for now, I have explained in the previous video. You can go and watch that video. Okay. So yeah, like there were a few questions regarding this. That's why I thought of clearing this uh, like huge myth because there are a lot of myths regarding test series. Okay. So 
now what happens is that uh, simply you might feel that you are weak in a particular subject right you have identified the problem you are weak in a particular subject how can you improve it i mentioned in in my previous video as well simply by watching from any other educator you can watch this video here i have mentioned how can droppers watch in a quick manner or who are just revising a subject they can also watch lectures in a quick manner from any other educator maybe they have studied from himanshu sir okay now they can study from me okay i am bringing the rp yoga series so they have studied the network part completely from himanshu sir right then i have bought a quick rp yoga video 8 hour video video where i have covered the complete ac part few places places i have explained few new things right there so you might watch that video in a quick manner how to watch it there is a video so that you can watch if you cover it in a quick manner maybe you will revise it you will not feel bored as well and you will learn the concepts and please don't just watch the video you have to focus there how to watch uh, how to like put make notes and stuff i will explain that you don't have to make notes but you you will have to do the rough work that is very important because your brain always must keep on working once your brain is idle that means you are not doing anything that means you are just simply sitting idle that's it okay so you can watch the rpv video or you can watch from any other place any other youtube video any other crash course whichever you are more comfortable with right previously you watched from some educator x you can watch the crash course of educator y and then you can revise of course pyqs are always there you can always revise to pyqs test series are always there also like test series is also another way to revise only it tells you exactly in which area are you lagging and which topic you need to focus more okay so there is one more myth that pyqs are more than enough right i don't need to attempt test series if i have if i am solving all the pyqs by myself then i'm good no first of all pyqs are not enough they are a great starting point because they help you understand the pattern of that particular examination and you reach a very good level yes no doubt if you are able to solve most of the pyqs by yourself then you has you have reached a good level you will perform good in an examination but how can you make it even better that will come with test series okay you have to attempt test series and you have to actually attempt new questions because pyqs are older questions now sometimes they do repeat questions but maybe they will ask a frame a question in a new manner so then you will have to work very well you have to understand the concept very well then only you will be able to solve it only solving pyq is not enough you have to attempt the test series you have to do the revision all those things you have to do so for how to attempt like how to improve the test series marks all those things i have explained in other videos so those things are there this video was only there to clear the confusion all the confusions regarding test series uh, how many full end marks to attempt right in summary i will i'll just summarize quickly what have i have told you how to check the marks so whatever marks you have got try to check the marks of the top 10 person right top 10 person or top 15 is also fine depending on how many no number of people have attempted that particular test or 90 percentile just always try to focus try to be above 90 percentile right i hope you know the meaning of 90 percentile you can look it up so try to be above 90 percentile that's good enough don't initially don't judge by marks just see which questions you are were able to solve which questions you are not able to solve why you are not able to solve that what was the problem with that now the second point is how many mock tests to attempt 10 is a good number okay january you can start with start start from january now is not the time to focus on full length mocks you can focus on subject wise test series now okay please do focus on subject wise test series and revision full length mocks will come and also one more thing i want to add if you are almost done with subject wise test series you can attempt our concept x test okay it is not exactly a full length mock it is a combination of all the common subjects of wec il like network theory signal system analog electronics digital electronics so combination of all the common subjects together we have uh, arranged a test okay it's a, like a mock test in our website just go in your website or search in uh, youtube concept x you will get the complete information there and do attempt that before attempting the mock test do attempt that that will be a very good revision for you so yeah these are the summarize basically and next how can you revise again you can watch the rp yoga videos or watch a crash course or you can go and study your own notes if you feel bored from your own notes that's why i have told you the alternatives of course your own notes are always there and of course you can solve the pyqs but again just solving pyqs will not be enough you will have to do this additional things solving extra questions right conceptual questions and attempting attempting the test series these things are there and you will have to always do this 
so that's it uh, for this video i hope you have enjoyed this video if you did make sure to hit the like button and of course any other topic any other strategy if you want to know always let us know in the comments below we are always there to help you guys thank you and happy learning